You filed two lawsuits against TikTok and ByteDance earlier this month. Can you walk us through them? Yeah, sure. So you're right. There's two lawsuits. They're both, however, based on Indiana's Deceptive Consumer Sales Practices Act. So we protect consumers. Many, most states have very similar laws uh, from uh, predatory or deceptive business practices. And that's what TikTok and their parent ByteDance, which is controlled effectively by the Chinese Communist Party, that's what they're doing. The first lawsuit uh, talks about our most precious asset, our children, and how, if you can imagine, our, 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 our children's heads being opened up and garbage being dumped in. That's what they're doing. While their own kids, they protect from their own product, TikTok. Uh, but our kids, they subject them to all kinds of horrendous material. And, you know, I'm not so Pollyanna, Brittany, that I, I don't understand that we're, we're, we're killing our culture ourselves in a lot of ways, and that's a whole separate interview, perhaps. But what we don't need is help from the Chinese Communist Party to destroy our society, to destroy our culture. It's hard being a parent enough these days. Uh, and what they're doing, let's say um, you have a 12-year-old. Within a couple minutes of getting your own TikTok account, your 12-year-old can be, think of a 12-year-old girl, can be taught how to be a stripper. Your 12-year-old girl or boy can be taught all kinds of lewd sex acts. They'll be introduced to alcohol. They'll be introduced to what drugs are working out real good, how the easiest ones that they can get. And then they'll be taught how to commit suicide. This is all being pushed on uh, the most vulnerable in our society, our children. So there's that. Then there's the data piece. The data piece, uh, the data lawsuit is for any age. And it's the same Deceptive Consumer Sales Practices Act. They are going in and saying, if you scroll down and you, re you read the terms of service, they'll say they don't take data. But the evidence that we have, and most of it's in the public sphere uh, now already, is that they are in fact taking our data, our metadata, our consumer uh, practices, our physical locations. So uh, why is this deceiving? It's deceiving because uh, in the case of the data, they said that they're not doing it. Well, they are. In the case of our kids, they say that it's a. if you go on Apple, the Apple store, they'll say this, uh, this uh, app app this TikTok app is appropriate for 12 years old and up it is absolutely not in indiana it's five thousand dollars in fines per instance that they commit a deceptive act so we're already in the hundreds of millions of dollars at least attorney general i do want to break this all down i'm not sure if you're familiar forbes has done extensive investigations into TikTok, and forbes found in the u.s the app was downloaded about 58 million times this year alone, and user spending in the app has more than tripled to over $600 million in the past year. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, obviously it, it seems like it's popular, uh, but I really think that people don't understand uh, what's happening. And, and we intend to let people know. I know there's bills in Congress uh, to stop not only federal employees, but maybe a complete ban on TikTok, the country of India seems to understand the problem. They have banned TikTok. Uh, maybe we need a federal law to do the same. Some states have stopped their state employees from doing it. Um, I, in my role as a law enforcer, rather use the market and the protections that will, reasonable protections that consumers have in the free market to protect themselves against consumer sales, consumer, consumer sales and practices. So that's what we're doing. That's how we're attacking it. Obviously, we want the behavior to stop. It's not about the money. We want the behavior to stop. And I think ultimately the best solution, you know, Dave, maybe this is a back way of answering your question, and I'm certainly not trying to dodge it, but the best way to stop TikTok from acting like it is um, is to be patriots. We know that the CCP has said that they want to take over the world. We know that they want to do it without firing a single shot. This is one of the ways they're doing it. They're destroying our culture. They're destroying our kids. They're taking our data. Um, if we just got rid of them, if we got rid of the app uh, in a patriotic way, America first, then uh, I think we'd, be, we, we, we'd solve this problem in the quickest way possible.